get started with our practice. So like I said, if you want to come to an easy seated position, you may want to sit on a bolster or a pillow, especially if you're dealing with some really tight hip flexors or anything like that. That'll give you a little more love, a little more relaxation. Sitting up nice and tall, anchoring down into our sit bones. And closing our eyes. starting to let the stress of our day just melt right off of our shoulders as we relax them. Take a moment now to connect with the breath. Like I said before, our class today is a focus on optimism. So as we sit here for a minute of stillness, I'll read to you a little bit about what optimism is. While I'm reading, Notice your breath entering your body, maybe even practicing today your alternate nostril breathing without your hands. So breathing in, imagining the air entering your right nostril and exiting out the other's nostril. Inhaling through that side and out the other. Optimism is a state of positivity, hopefulness, and anticipation of future successes. Practicing optimism involves recognizing what is good, right, just, and beautiful around us. It allows us to see possibilities everywhere. By contrast, the state of pessimism involves the tendency to see the bad and negative sides of people and things around us. Pessimists see obstacles when optimists see opportunities. Our yoga represents optimism by helping us to continue recognizing the little successes and progressions towards expressing the full version of some of these poses or asana and strengthening our mindfulness practice, right? A state of optimism, we often feel it in the class, creates a positive atmosphere for all of us. All right, let's begin with our warm up. Let's inhale, sweep our arms right up to the sky. Exhale, bring our hands down to the earth. Inhale, reaching our hands up. Exhale, bringing our hands back down. So as we move through this, imagine closing your eyes if that feels nice and touching our thumbs up at the top of our movement, matching our breath to our move, softening our jaws and letting go of any competition tonight, any expectation. And as always, any judgment towards ourselves, our bodies, with our own thoughts, or things we might think people think, let it go. Let go of all of those thoughts that don't serve you in some good way. One more, and we'll start a little flexion over to the side. Left hand down, right arm goes up, and we flex over to the other side on the exhale. Inhaling, coming up, exhaling, flexing our spine over noticing how your spine's doing today lengthening each and every vertebrae feeling space between them as we create a gentle bend the farther you reach with your hand to the floor the more bend you might have making sure to be kind to our lower back one more and we'll add some twists on opening up our wings, our thumbs facing up to the sky, exhaling, twisting left hand to right knee. Inhale, opening again, exhaling over to the other side. Filled with optimism today. Flowing side to side. So if you've never been to one of my yoga classes, we always do a pretty similar warm up to begin with, either standing or seated, and then some sun salutations, strength poses, and deep stretching at the end, and some cheesiness throughout, of course. One more. Let's put this all together. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Exhale, bring our hands back to the earth. Inhale, sweep up to the sky, and we'll tip over to your left. 
back up, inhale and over to the other side. Now we open up our wings and twist over to one side, twisting over to the other side. Let's bring our hands back behind us, clasping them together. Now you do have a strap around tonight or if you're at home, you might want a belt for a bird of paradise later. We'll bring our hands to our heart and take a humble bow towards mother earth. Bring the hands back and drawing us back up, opening across our heart and a little tip forward only if that feels okay for you. Feeling prepared for any challenge. All right, one last little humble bow forward. Our spine's nice and warm. Let's make our way to all fours, shifting forward, separating our feet and maybe making our way back down our mat a little bit to find ourselves in our cat and cow pose. So here we will have some space between our fingers and we'll start to move through cat and cow. If you're a regular practitioner, make any modifications that you know suit your body today. For anyone new, if you're taking care of your wrists, we could use our fists for our wrists or place a block or two underneath our forearm as we flow through our cat and cow could give our wrists a break. If you don't have a block, you can use a book or a soup can or something. One more cat, one more cow. We'll come to a nice steady tabletop, making sure we've got hip distance between our knees, between our hands and some hip circles. One left hip goes out to the side and comes back in and then the other side. It's like you're reaching for a half circle towards that heel and then coming back to center and then the other side. Warming up our hips for our bird of paradise, for lizard pose that we're gonna work towards and a wide squat or malasana. Last one. All right, let's take it to child's pose unless you'd like to move up to downward facing dog. So child's pose, our hips go back towards our heels. We're reaching our hands forward and placing our forehead down on the mat. If the forehead doesn't wanna get there, we'll take our fists, one or two, put them underneath our forehead and take a moment to massage the forehead. Feeling some space across your lower back, feeling optimistic. Feeling hope and love surround us today. We'll come back up to all fours. You may need to slide your hands back underneath your shoulders and we'll move into our spinal balance, reaching our right arm forward and our left foot back and then placing it back down on the mat. Side to side, reaching through our back heel or if you want to today, reaching through your toe if that's something that feels a little bit better. Yogi's choice, check in with your body. keeping our hips square, our breath full. Last one, right back to child's pose or downward facing dog. So your option to go into child's pose or move up into downward dog, depending on how you're feeling about it today. Just check and make sure no one's left in the waiting room. I had no idea what a waiting room online even was this time last year. <laughs> All right. Starting to move through our half series or let's learn it first. Inhaling, we'll come to a kneeling or full plank and exhale down to the belly or elbows, kind of in towards our rib cage, opening up into a really gentle cobra, back down to our bellies. Then we'll press the earth away and sit back to child's pose feeling the stretch across the lower back. And again, inhaling forward, exhale, slowly lowering. Inhale, shining the chest through, gently bending back down to our bellies. We press the earth away, strong core as we sit back to child's pose and we'll flow again. Inhale forward, exhale down, opening up in the cobra, back to our bellies, amazing job lift up back to child's pose you can stay in child's pose or move up into downward facing dog with me and i'll show you that one 
We inhale into a full plank. Exhale, halfway down. Up dog, tops of the feet on the mat. Knees off, turn the feet back and back to downward dog. We'll go through that again, choosing what feels good for you. Plank, halfway or all the way. Or up dog or our cobra and down dog. Taking a rest now or flowing through one more time, all on your own. We inhale into a plank, fuller kneeling. Halfway or all the way into your up dog or cobra. Back to child's pose or downward facing dog. Holding our downward dog, breathing, feeling, listening to our bodies. Looking up between the hands. We will actually, we won't, well, we won't do a lunch. We will do a lunch day. I was going to do sun salutations B, but I might say that for later. Let's bring our right foot forward and rise up into a lunge. Just because we might have some new people online. I don't want to give them <laughs> crazy sun salutations. Forward fold, exhale. And let's step the right foot back and rise up into a lunge on this side. Inhale. Stretch, exhale, forward fold. We've got some space between our feet. Our head is hanging and dangling. If you're working on your forward fold, one thing I can recommend is to start with some bent knees, glue your belly to your thighs, and then work towards straightening your legs each day, maybe a little more. Progression, optimism. Halfway lift, inhale. Shoulders roll back and we exhale, fold again. Let's flow through that a few more times, using our core to lift us up. Exhale, fold. If our eyes are open, as we rise up, they're in front of our feet. As we go back down, they're looking back behind us. A few more. Let's inhale to chair. Exhale to forward fold, flowing through. Inhale, rising up. You can have your arms long if you'd like to. Exhale, folding. So bending and straightening our legs, using our breath to guide us today. On our next chair, we inhale and then we'll exhale to mountain pose. So coming straight up, peeking our head out of the clouds today inhale sweep to sky exhale bring our hands to our sides flowing through your mountain pose anchoring down into the earth notice the air on your skin wherever your skin might be exposed notice the air entering your body Last one, we'll bring our hands down to our heart on our exhale, stepping your left foot back, turning towards the windows, or if you're at home, turning towards wherever you happen to be. We've got lots of space between our feet now for moonflowers rising up, inhale, exhale, bending our elbows and bending our knees, moving mindfully through our moonflowers today. Our hips shifting back, our knees moving towards the middle of our feet, keeping our spine strong and the muscles that surround our spine, supporting it from all sides, our pelvic floor, strong, steady, stable. Last one, we can stay with that or turn it into our moon flowers. We do our little hinge, bend our knees, sweep to the mat. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hinge. Creating a circle with our hands if that feels nice. And that circle can represent all kinds of things to different people. Let's think of it as connectivity. Connecting to our breath, quieting the mind through movement. Last one. 
rising up. Let's bring our hands to our hips and walk our feet in slightly, not too far, and sit down into a wide squat. Just to flow, we won't hold too long. Let's take our left hand to the mat, reach our right arm up. Exhale down, other side. Flowing side to side, stretching and breathing and, and noticing the progression as maybe the hips start to get a little closer to the floor. We open up across the side body and breathe. Last one. Let's tick tock our feet together as we lift our hips up. You'll step back up towards the tops of your mats. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sweeping all the way up, breathe in. Grabbing a hold of our hands back behind us or using a strap to connect our hands. We can stay here or move into your forward fold with chest expansion as part of our regular warm up. If that doesn't feel good, you can let your hands go at any time. Prepared for any challenge today. All right, we'll all sweep our hands down, come all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, time for the sun salutations. If you're new, don't worry, you've already learned them. Basically, we'll just put it all together now. I'll make sure we have a good song. So if you uh, want to drink at this point, it's a good time to do it. This is a new one. All right, let's come up to the tops of our mats. Find some space between our feet, widen up across the heart, relax the shoulders, strengthen the core, feel the pelvic floor holding our organs, strength and breath. Breathe in, reach up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, folding again, breathing out, bending our knees, right foot back, stepping into a lunge and inhaling to rise. Your knee can be down if that feels better. Downward dog or child's pose with me. Choosing to rest or let's flow. Inhale forward, down, cobra or up dog. Back to your belly or down dog and wait for me with a couple breaths. Bringing the left foot up between the hands. Rise to lunge, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, shoulders roll back. Fold again. Sweep to sky, breathe in. A nice strong chair pose, core is strong. Back up, breathe in. Exhale to mountain. Let's do it again, rise up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, fold again. Bending our knees, left foot back. Rise to lunge. Exhale back to down dog or child's pose. Maybe the eyes close. Resting or flowing forward. Down. Meeting back in down dog or child's pose. Bringing the left foot up between the hands. Rise to lunge. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold again. Sweep to sky, inhale, exhale to chair. Back up, breathe in, feel that circle. Exhale, mountain. Let's do it again, inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift, fold again. Right foot back, up or down, breathe in. Exhale, down dog or child's pose or going at your own pace, resting or flowing, full or kneeling plank, up dog or cobra, down dog or child's pose. Right foot coming up between the hands, take your time, rise up. Forward fold or down dog, closing your eyes if that feels nice, halfway lift. 
Oh, sweep the sky. Exhale the chair. Great job, everybody. Back up, breathe in. Exhale to our mountain. Let's do one more. So if you're regular, just go ahead and flow on your own or stay with me. Rise up. Dive. Halfway. Fold. Left foot back. Rise to lunge. Downward dog or child's pose. Resting here or flowing forward. Down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Bringing your left foot up between the hands. Rise up. A good song too. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise up to root down into the feet. Chair pose, breathe out. All the way back up. And meeting in mountain. Nice and warm. If anyone wants a fan, there's a few around the room. Feel free or enjoy the warmth. It's winter. Okay, let's move on. We're going to actually go for lizard pose as the beginning. I'm going to turn a fan on for me because because I am. <laughs> All right, so let's move into our lizard pose. Take a big breath in and we'll exhale fold. There's even one right behind you, um, Heather, that little pink guy. Stepping or jumping back to plank pose. Let's take it down to the knees for this side. So you could be using blocks. We'll be bringing our right foot to the outside of our right hand, but doesn't quite want to get there on its own. Grab it behind the heel or hold on to the ankle. Just walk it up. All right. So now we're shifting our left hip a little bit closer to the floor and keeping our leg hugged into our, our knee at first. Wonderful. So if you have a block, you could bring that down as you play around with coming down to your forearms, onto your block here or on right down onto the ground. Even you could have one block under one forearm, one, not one under the other. Right, there's no right or wrong way. Option now, of course, to lift up your back knee off the mat. Three. So for anyone that wants to work on, it's a little bit of a bind, a little bit of working on an arm balance. We walk our right hand back and our elbow underneath our leg, creating a shelf. How fun is this? So option, of course, to take that knee down. So this is what we're working on. If anyone wants to try to lift this foot up, just walk it forward a little bit and see what happens. Yay! Okay. And walk it back before it goes somewhere we don't want it to go. You really have to will it to lift. Okay, bring that hand back in. Let's bring it up. Whew. Take that foot back, take it to a little child's pose. You have it as wide as you want for your child's pose. Take a little break here before we do our lizard on the other side. Or a small variation of lizard today that has a focus on a little bit of a bind and an arm balance wound in to remind us how important it is to focus on progress and have fun. looking up at our hands, shifting back up to all fours. And now the left foot will come up to the outside of the left hand. This is where we make those adjustments maybe with our back hip to bring it a little bit closer, even walking your kneecap a little bit further on the back leg, back down your mat. Okay. So this can be enough for you. You can stay right where you are or come down onto the forearms with or without your block or walk this left hand back so that we create a little bit of a shelf with your tricep underneath your leg. And if you want to work on it, you just walk that foot out and lift it up. Hey, how fun. <laughs> Make sure we're breathing. 
I think I actually look like a lizard. Okay, bring it back. Let's bring it up. Sit it back to child's pose. Having some fun with our practice. Listening to our bodies. All right, we'll inhale to all fours. Exhale to downward facing dog. Pressing the earth away with both of our hands, as well as anchoring into the earth with our feet, but most likely keeping our heels up off the mat with the bent knee. Breathe. Looking up between the hands, we'll be bringing the right foot up between the hands. Dropping our back heel down onto the mat. Warrior two, our left hand will sweep up and we'll meet in our warrior two. Breathe. Apologies, ladies, grab your strap while you're up here. And we'll actually, let's take it into both hands and bring it back behind us just for this one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Sinking into the support of our legs. Okay. Let's reach into triangle with this now. We straighten out our front leg, reach your right arm forward. Try to keep the tension on that strap as you hinge down, keeping the chest open. And it helps us not to lean back with that hand too much. Creating a nice straight line-ish. If you are taking care of your top hand, you can tuck it back behind you. And that's where we're all gonna go actually. Tucking our back hand behind us with the palm or the back of our hand, touching the, our back, opening up through the chest. Now we'll bend our right knee and place our right elbow on our right knee. So we've got that strap kind of dangling back behind us. Now we can reach with the hand underneath for the strap, or maybe our hands touch. Maybe you can clasp your hands together. So that strap is kind of up underneath between your backside and your knee. You can stay right here in bound angle or look at your front foot and then your back foot. And we'll draw our back foot up behind the front foot. We can stay here or lift our right heel. So we come onto the toes. You can stay there or engage the core, press all of the weight into the left foot, and we lift up our chest, maybe our strap underneath our leg, and we're opening up. We could stay here, which I probably will. So want to bring that strap right underneath your thigh, Lori. Yeah, so it's kind of holding your leg up. Sorry. <laughs> And then we can work on bending and straightening that leg. Good job. Yeah, great modification for this is balancing half moon. All right, let that go. Let our strap go. Let's into a forward fold. Stepping or jumping back to plank. This is where you can take a little rest in your plank or kneeling plank or flow through a vinyasa of your choice. So resting or flowing, let's go through it two times. Take your time. If resting feels better, by all means, take a little breather, grab a drink. We'll meet in child's or down dog. And if we're not in downward dog, we'll meet up in downward dog. Take your time getting there. Bringing the left foot up between the hands. We'll grab our strap while we're down there. Take our right foot down, rising up into our warrior two on the other side. Opening up our strap back behind us, bending our left knee, pressing into both of our feet. Breathe. Soften through the shoulders, lengthening through the neck. Optimism. Breathe, feel and listen. 
If you love warrior two, you can stay right here or we'll move into triangle, straightening out our front leg, not locking it, reaching that left arm forward and down. Modifications here could be to bring your back foot in a little bit closer, tuck your top arm back behind you, which is what we will do if you're gonna do bird of paradise. So the top hand goes back behind you, the back of the hand on the back, and the strap is behind us and try to drop it somewhere a little bit up on your knee, up closer to your knee. And we bend our front knee, reach back, grab our strap and work towards opening up our chest. You can stay with this one or look at our front foot then our back foot and we can walk our back foot up closer so that strap comes underneath our bent front knee. Then we take the heel up and down, see how that feels. And then engaging the core really strongly. So your top arm, that's, yeah, oh no, you got it. I don't got it. Let's reach up with our body. So we're gonna straighten out this front leg now. So you're on your, yeah, there we go. Lift up and then we can, play around with just trying to stay steady or bending and straightening that top leg. Oh, forward fold, everybody. Thank you so much for working on that. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Stepping or jumping back to your plank. Holding there. We're taking a rest in child's pose or we'll flow through our half series. That's the plank down, up dog or cobra. Back to our bellies. We'll meet in child's pose or down dog. Take your time getting there. When you're there, catch the breath. Stepping or jumping up to a forward fold and inhaling halfway lift. Folding again, sweeping all the way up, inhale. Exhale, let's come into chair. Opening up across the chest. We'll be doing bear pose. We do that one a lot in our medicine wheel one, and I love it. So we want to take our bellies right down to our thighs, bend our knees, and reach our arms long into our bear, feeling strong, steady, vital, vitality, the bear representing. Forward fold on an exhale, let the head be heavy, let it dangle. Bending our knees back to our bear. If you'd like to widen the wings, you can. Well, bears don't have wings, but you know what I mean. Feel the strength of your legs, pressing into both of your feet. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Folding, breathing out. Sweeping all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Eagle pose for our balance pose tonight. A nice uh, opportunity, to, again, to use a block if you've got one nearby. You can go over to your left side of your mat for now. All right, taking our right knee and crossing it over top of our left. We're bringing our inner thighs together. And this is where we bend that left knee and try to wrap our foot around our calf. But it's okay if you don't, you can put it on a block. Sit down and we'll bring our right elbow in front and wrap our left elbow under where we can 
Just give yourself a little hug, lifting your elbows up or move into eagle arms, palms come together or some version that feels good for your body. And we're sinking down into our eagle. Breathe. It's quieting the mind by focusing on what's going on and the sensations in our body. Let's straighten it out, open up our wings and move on to the other side for our eagle. Our other block can go over there. We'll walk our left foot around, cross the knee on top of the knee. So if you were to look down, you're trying to get them a little bit lined up and then your foot, some folks can bring it back behind their calf. Some folks are working towards that. Our left elbow comes up. Let's take our right on under and move into either our eagle arms or a nice hug, a pat on the back for being optimistic today for the whole week, incorporating some optimism into our daily practices and rituals. Oh, let's straighten it out, mountain feet, open up. Exhale, hands by our sides. One more big breath up and we'll be forward folding, exhale. Stepping, we're moving into a wide leg forward fold. So we'll step our right leg back, turn our toes towards the long edge. Down into our wide leg forward fold. Breathe. Our head is heavy secure, breathe, feel, listen. And stay here as long as you'd like to, or move into our Malasana again. So that wide squat, if you've got a block, so let's walk our feet in a little bit and then sit our hips down. So this is where that block can be really helpful underneath our hips and we'll flow again, rising up one hand down and then the other. Maybe noticing how the hips are feeling after you've warmed up even more. Wonderful. Looking forward on our mat. Let's walk our hands slightly forward and hook our, or squeeze our inner, inner knees onto our arms. So just a prep pose for crow. If anybody practices crow as part of their regular practice, feel free to move into crow now, or you can hold on to wherever you are. If you're new to crow and you wanna try it, make sure you have a pillow in front of your face. And we always wanna look forward lifting up one foot or more hanging out in crow for a breath or two breathe amazing job all right let's lift it up tick tock our feet back together turn them towards the top edge of our mat again great job everybody big big peak poses tonight <sighs> Let's step or jump back to plank pose. Take your time. You can hold your plank for the next 10 breaths or take a breath and a rest in child's pose. So holding or resting. Drawing the energy up from the earth into your wrists instead of pressing down. Your legs are strong. Filled with enthusiasm for life. Today, focusing on progress. That's about 10 breaths. You'll all take it back to child's pose now. Come on. 
Inhale to all fours. Exhale, we're gonna do a little half bear hug. So wrap our right hand just up around our body. A little bear hug, well, a half of a bear hug. Left hand goes down, do the other half of our bear hug. Make sure you hug yourself, hug somebody today. Good, bring that hand back. And we'll be moving right to a seated position for a couple boats before we go into our pigeon pose supine today on our backs. All right, so into our boat pose, we can have our blocks today in between our thighs if that's something that feels nice for you. If it doesn't, you just put it off to the side, lifting up. And if it feels okay for us, we can have our hands on or off our thighs or under our legs, widening across our collarbones, lengthening through the head, breathe. We did some work on our wrists today. Let's tuck our thumbs in and give our hands some rotations while we're here. Good. Toes or feet go down, slide them in slightly, fingertips to the backside, right up into our tabletop, opening up across our chest pressing down into our full foot. If that feels okay, both of our hands anchoring, stretching the chest, modifying anything to suit our body today. We'll bring those hips down to the mat. Wonderful. Moving into our Butterfly pose for taking care of your knees, maybe some blocks under them. We'll draw the soles of the feet together, bring them in, lengthening up through the spine. Start to notice some relaxation in our jaws, filled with hope. And we'll hinge slightly forward if that feels nice for you. Hold onto your toes or walk your hands forward. Softening the breath. Quieting the mind. Let's walk it on up, add a little twist. So if butterfly doesn't feel nice for your practice today, you can go back to your crisscross. Bring our left hand over to our right knee. Our back hand anchoring down into the earth or a block underneath it. Breathe. All the way over to the other side, keeping our, our pelvis, our lower back nice and stable and twisting a little bit above that belly button today. Feeling optimism flowing through you. We'll bring our chin around, our chest around. Take the legs out wide, turning our toes up towards the sun, the moon, the stars, and we'll hinge forward into our wide leg forward fold where you could put a block or something underneath your elbows if you want to. 
can reach for your big toes, pulling a little bit further down. Slowly, passively, gravity bringing us a little bit closer or just deepening the feeling wherever you are. Honor your journey and your body where it is today. We're walking our hands back up. Let's take them underneath our knees and bring them in. So we're moving into a supine pigeon. I'll just show it to you before you go down if you've never done one before. It's also known as like a figure four. We've got our knee here, flexed feet. So you do have a strap around you if you wanted to bring it underneath this leg and you're drawing that closer in. That's our supine pigeon. So if it doesn't feel comfortable, you've got a strap around the leg and you use that to draw the knee in a little bit closer. Breathe. Make any adjustments you need to to feel good about where you are tonight. Sweet creature. About 15 breaths there, so about 10 more or so for you. The shoulder blades are down. The jaw has let go of tension. And we'll switch sides. Bringing the other knee across, reaching through that window. You could even use your elbow to hinge out your knee slightly, just keeping the feet strong and flexed. We'll let that pose go. Put both of the feet down on the earth and lift up into a bridge pose where we could choose to, of course, slide a block underneath your lower back or a pillow for more of a supportive and restorative one. Pressing equally into both of our feet. No weight in our neck or our head. It's in our shoulder blades and in our feet. Slowly lowering one vertebrae at a time, extending our right leg down the length of our mat, drawing our right knee up and then across the body for a spinal twist where you could again put your knee on a block here. So you're there for a few breaths. And then we'll move to the other side for your spinal twist. Staying in that position. for about 10 or 15 breaths, really softening.
And finally, let's draw the knees into chest. If there's another pose that it speaks to you in the moment that maybe you've been wanting to try and, it, and it's a safe part of your regular practice, you can move into that or settle into your Shavasana. Tonight, it will be on gratitude, our meditation. Take your time to find a comfortable position. Allowing the body to feel weighted, to feel secure. Finding a comfortable position, lying down on your back, if that's good for you tonight. Take a moment to get comfortable here and begin to focus on the natural rhythm of your breath. Inhale slowly and smoothly, allowing the breath to travel deeply into the low belly. Pause and exhale slowly and smoothly, releasing the breath from the body through your nostrils or your mouth. Inhaling slowly and smoothly, allowing the breath to travel deeply into the low belly. Pause and exhale slowly and smoothly, releasing the breath from the body. Take a moment to make any last minute adjustments. Softening your face and jaw to allow the breath to flow smoothly. In and smoothly out. Softening the eyes and relaxing our shoulders. Let your entire body feel relaxed heavy, weighted, and secure. Continue to breathe and let any distracting thoughts float away from you. Feel gratitude now for your family and your friends, for their love and support, however it is given. Feel gratitude for the community that surrounds you and supports you. Everyone from your grocer, your hairstylist, your dentist, doctor, your yoga instructor, your neighbors, your co-workers, teachers, and even the person who serves you your favorite treat. Let your heart expand to include your family, friends, and community. Gently breathe in, and as you exhale, allow your hips to soften and relax. If rocking them back and forth side to side feels good to release the tension, do what feels right today. Feel gratitude for your creative mind for your dreams, desires, and the passions that inspire you to feel deeply. Inhale, feeling your belly expand. Exhale, letting your belly relax and soften towards your spine. Feel gratitude now for the food that nourishes you and makes you strong. Feeling gratitude for your sense of self that defines who you are and allows you to serve the world in your special way. Soften your ribs, your back, and the area that surrounds your heart. Feel your heart expand as you feel gratitude for the beauty of nature all around you for the trees, the plants, 
in all the flowers, the snow, and for the creatures that share our beautiful world. Relax your shoulders, soften your arms, all the way down to your fingertips. Swallow and relax your jaw, your eyes, your tongue, your mouth, and your cheeks. Feel gratitude for the gift of communication and all the ways you express yourself and share your story with the world. Softening your eyes now and your forehead. Allow the forehead to be free and clear. Feel gratitude now for your intuition. That little voice inside that guides you on the right path. Feel gratitude for all the times you have listened and tuned into this wisdom from within. Soften the top of your head and sense the connection around you through your breath. Feel connected to all those around you and to something larger than yourself. Feel gratitude for the connection that makes you whole, complete. Feel a deep sense of peace tonight and contentment surrounding you. Take a few gentle breaths in and out. When you are ready, we can open our eyes, wiggle our fingers, our toes, move our hands around a little bit, our wrists and our ankles, moving our head from side to side, awakening our neck, feeling gratitude and optimism today. We can stretch from our fingers right to our toes, stretching our whole front of our body. Prepared for any challenges, let's roll over onto one side. You can rest your head on your arm as a little pillow. Take your time getting there. Find the breath, rolling over onto one side, and then we'll make our way up into an easy seated position. Crisscross kind of back where we started. Our practice today, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, drawing our hands gently down towards our heart. Inhale, reaching up, just breathing in, whatever it may be that you need today. Is it strength, compassion, kindness, optimism? One more big breath, hands to our heart. I do invite you to bow to the earth if that feels okay for you. The light in me sees and honors the light in you tonight. Namaste. To you guys at home too as well. Have a great night. Thanks for practicing, everybody. I'll just turn the recording off here. Bye, Francie. Bye, Emily. Bye, Denise. Thank you. Bye, new friends. <laughs> Bye. Have a good night. We will.